All my plans totally shot. Hey there everyone, my name is Father Bullock and welcome to today's video. Uh, this is coming out right before Mother's Day. Mother's Day is this weekend and um, I wanted to just share a little bit of my mom's story and the, the idea of a video that I had for you. Uh, so, um, you know, my parents divorced when I was very young. I mostly grew up with my dad. Uh, my mom kind of came in and out of my life at different points. And um, yeah, I didn't have a great relationship with, with my mom. And uh, my mom passed away in 2018. I uh, actually, um, Gaudete Sunday, 2018. And so actually for today's video, my plan was to, um, I had this grand plan of, I was gonna go to the graveside, we were gonna say some prayers together. I was gonna show you where my mom's house uh, was. She obviously, you know, the family doesn't own it anymore. I was gonna show a couple of play, favorite places that my mom and I used to go to. And uh, yeah, just kind of share my Mother's Day experience with you uh, uh, on the video. It didn't work out. Uh, my uh, dad is totally fine, he's healthy, he's home, he's good, but had to go to the hospital the day that I was home. And so I spent at least the whole afternoon in the hospital with my dad. And by the time I got done, I still had to drive back to Rock Island. I still had a like, two and a half hour drive to get back. And it was dark outside and it just wasn't gonna happen. So all my plans totally shot. Uh, so this weekend we'll celebrate Mother's Day. Um, I guess I just have a few thoughts on Mother's Day. So I want to just talk to women in general on this Mother's Day video. I, uh, I just told you, yeah, my mom was kind of came in and out of my life. And so actually some of the women that I think of on Mother's Day actually aren't my mom. I do think of my mom, but some of the women that I, some of the other women I think of are not my biological mom. Actually, some of those women also, they don't even have kids themselves. A few of them are, um, you know, grandmotherly figures to me. They're a little bit older. They can share that type of, you know, grandmother's wisdom. Some of them, you know, are my mom's age. Some of them actually are not much older than I am or my age. Some of them are younger than I am. Um, right, there's a whole host of women in my life that have kind of taken on that motherly role for me at different points. Uh, sometimes they're parishioners. Sometimes they're just friends that I've known all my life. Sometimes they you know, have known me since I was a little kid, you know. Um, so today when we celebrate Mother's Day, right, we celebrate really a mother's heart. Um, I think all women are made with such a, a unique heart and, and, and motherly care and love, right? The compassion and, um, you know, just the ability to suffer with someone that, 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 that a woman can have. Um, I think that's really what we celebrate today. Uh, one of the things that most people will get for their moms today is, uh, is probably some flowers, right? Whether it's they actually get the flowers themselves or uh, I think it's common that people also get seeds because moms, if the mom likes to garden or something like that. Um, I think it's kind of a unique gift that we give, give to moms is flowers uh, because the, the reality of flowers is they're going to die, right? We give our mom something that's not gonna last forever. That's not gonna last necessarily even that long, especially if we give them flowers, like those things are gonna die in, you know, I guess I don't actually know, but like a couple weeks at least, I would think of probably a week or so. So we give them something that's going to, to wilt and, and die. Why is that? Why is it we give flowers to moms on uh, Mother's Day and other, you know, big events? Uh, I had a at the filming of this, I had a, a wedding last weekend and um, right, all the bridesmaids carry flowers, right? It's common that women will give flowers to our Blessed Mother on, um, on their wedding day. Uh, also this weekend, we're gonna crown our Blessed Mother with a, with a bouquet of flowers. There's something about flowers that we give, but yet, again, flowers are gonna die. I think it's twofold, actually. Um, the first thing is that we're giving a sediment of what we want to do for the women in our lives that we love, right? I'm giving you these because I, I'm, it's signifying that, that I'm going to die. You know, I'm gonna to try to die in my love for you, right? I'm gonna to try to give myself in such a way that it serves you and helps you. And, uh, but I think the other thing is we give them because we recognize that moms, oftentimes a good mom at least, will die to herself in service to me. Um, the old joke of, you know, on Mother's Day, the kids will get together and 
you know, make mom all the food that she normally likes to eat, which is always like, you know, the ends of bread and the last burnt piece of bacon and the overcooked egg. And because that's always what mom takes, she gives to everyone else, you know, the, the, the more desirable things and, and keeps uh, what no one else wanted. Now, obviously, we might have different experiences with that. That, that wasn't totally my experience, but, uh, but I know that's a common thing for moms. Um, I think it's a common thing for, for women, right? Uh, at least a woman who's engaged in that motherly heart way. Uh, this weekend, we don't just celebrate uh, women who have biological children, right? We celebrate all women and the gift of a motherly heart. On this uh, Mother's Day weekend, I want to thank all women for their role in, in my life. I want to thank all, all women who might be watching this video for your role in someone else's life. However old you are, or however young you are, or you have a responsibility and, a, and, and this great treasure that's within you to, to love and serve those who are around you. Thank you for that. Uh, I hope that if, if God calls you to be a physical mom, you're grateful today. I hope that if God, for whatever reason, it has not called you to be a physical, mo a, a biological mother, uh, that you're grateful for the, for the spiritual children that you have. Uh, I hope that they honor and bless you today. On behalf of everyone here at St. Pius X in Rock Island, Illinois, Happy Mother's Day. No of my prayers for you. I look forward to seeing you all this weekend at Mass. God bless you.